Hey guys, I'm going to do a video real quick to show you how to get into the engineering mode in your um, My Ford Touch system or My Ford system. Um, this is a 2011 Ford Explorer with the uh, My Ford system. Uh, all you're going to do is you're going to start the vehicle. Um, I have the uh, intelligent key. So whenever you go to start the vehicle, you're going to press and hold this OK button. Let me see if I can do this with uh, one hand here. I'll tell you what, let's try it this way. Put this down for a second. Anyways, look, I'm not gonna be able to do it, we'll do it with uh, one hand. But you're gonna press and hold this OK button and then start the vehicle. And then I'll show you what uh, comes up in just a sec. Hold on. So I'm pressing and holding the OK button. You'll get this that says engineering mode. So I'm gonna press left. Well, looks like it didn't do it. Okay, well, let's try it again. It did do it, but if you hold it too long, it goes away. So let's try this again. Pressing and hold the OK button, starting the car. Once you get the message that says engineering mode, let it go. There. So a couple of things that this, let me turn my AC off. Again, there's not really anything you can change. It just gives you some additional information. Um, let me clean this real quick. There we go. That's better. Okay. So it gives you instructions to use the up and down switch to uh, look at the different things that you can do. Analog test, all that's going to do is just like when you start the vehicle, it's going to sweep the gauge. And then you do down again, it gives you all your telltales. Also does a little, um, you know, color gauge down on the corner so you can make sure your screen's getting all the colors it's supposed to. Other things, uh, gives you parts number of your gauge cluster. Um, different manufacturing dates. Um, it'll give you the diagnostic trouble codes like if your check engine light is on. I haven't gotten one yet, so I don't know exactly what it'll give you, if it'll give you just a code, or if it'll give you, you know, I guess, the wording of what it is. I'm hitting okay on it, and it's not doing anything, so I guess I, that's a good thing, maybe. Um, it'll give you your vehicle speed based on kilometers or um, uh, miles per hour, and then also give you your tack, to, your tack readout. A um, couple of other things, it'll give you the information you're getting from your fuel uh, sensors. See, I have, in this case, I have a full tank of gas, so it's saying that I'm at a 1,000. And then I guess it uses two, two sending units on the fuel to make sure you're getting an accurate reading on how much fuel you have. Um, it tells you the last readings that it got um, as far as a full tank of gas. Uh, that way it could calculate your distance to empty. Um, Again, it's giving you information on the calculation on your um, distance to empty for your trip one, trip two, all that other thing. Uh, that's pretty much it. It gives you your coolant temperature in Celsius. Um, let's see. Fuel status. Battery. I don't know what last chime means. I'm guessing that's what it, how many minutes ago or something. Um, gives you some lighting information as far as where your, um, your dim levels are at. Again, you can't change it, but I did notice if I dim, dim the controller down. The steps go down, but it doesn't really do anything. Um, I'm gonna kick mine back up because I like mine bright. Let's see, let's go down some more. Um, some more. I don't know what switch data is. I think that has something to do with maybe the uh, diagnostic port. But then that's it. You can um, go push right on the arrow key and it goes back to the regular My Touch. But if you're still in the vehicle and still driving it, you can press the left button. And it puts you back in engineering test mode only for that key cycle. So as soon as you restart the vehicle, if you want to go back in engineering mode, you're going to have to uh, press and hold this OK button. Um, again, guys, just something to uh, play with. Um, I don't think you can change anything. At least I haven't had any luck. Um, if you have any questions, put them down at the bottom. Thanks. Bye.